Okay. <clears throat> the next <clears throat> the next question. We are being told that 0 1 is a point on a circle and the center of the circle is -3 5 and it wants us to find the length of the diameter of the circle. Anytime you're being asked to find the length of something how far is it from here to here? How long is it? The distance formula you should really pop to mind. So this problem doesn't say use the distance formula, but it virtually does say use it. The hint, the hint is the word length of. Okay? Now, I'm going to draw a picture for us. Okay? We're being told that we have a circle whose center is negative 3, 5, So, that is the center of my circle. Okay, I'm going to mark it with the C. And that's the ordered pair, negative 3, 5. Okay, and we're being told that the ordered pair 0, 1 is on the circle. Well, that is the ordered pair 0, 1. Okay, so what I want you to picture is, all right, I'm, I'm not going to, do this perfectly, but I want you to picture that the circle, what's happening is the circle is passing through that point. See, here's my circle. Zero, one is on the circle, and this is where the circle is centered. You with me? So we have a circle here. I mean, obviously it continues, but I don't need the whole picture. Zero, one is a point on the circle. We call that the boundary point, a boundary point of the circle, and this point is where the circle is centered. Now, hopefully what you'll remember is if I measure from the center of a circle to a point on the circle, I get what is called the length of the radius of the circle. Length of the radius. Ultimately, I'm looking for the diameter, but right now, let's find the radius, the length of the radius, by using the distance formula. So I'm going to take these two points, the center of the circle and the boundary point, and I'm going to plug them into the distance formula. Now this time the distance formula is actually going to give me the length of the radius of the circle. Distance from the center to a boundary is called the length of the radius. So we won't call it D, we're going to call it length of the radius. It's still the same formula. We'll call this x sub 1, y sub 1. We'll call this x sub 2, y sub 2. Our formula, x sub 2 minus x sub 1 quantity squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 quantity squared. And we plug in. x sub 2 is 0. Minus comes from the formula. x sub 1 is a negative 3. This is being squared. We put a plus. y sub 2 is 1 minus, comes from the formula, y sub 1 is 5. That's being squared. So we have the square root of, okay, inside here, minus minus is a plus, 0 plus 3 is 3, 3 squared is 9. Here, 1 minus 5 is negative 4, correct? Negative 4 squared is a positive 16. This becomes the square root of 25, which is 5. Now, the length of the radius is 5, but that is not my answer. Remember what we were asked for in this problem. It said find the length of a diameter of a circle. Now if you look at a circle in general, the radius goes from here to here, okay, from the center to a boundary point. The diameter goes the entire way through the center. So if a radius is 5, the diameter would be twice that. So my answer for this question is not 5. My answer is the length of the diameter equals 
not five, but what? Hopefully you're telling me 10 units. So what this problem shows you is, to me, an intelligent use of the distance formula. We use the distance formula to find the length of the radius, okay? That's what we did by putting it with these two points. From the center to the boundary gives me the length of the radius. But now to answer the question, the length of the diameter is twice that. So if this is 5, twice that is going to be 10. So always, a t I tell my students, ATQ. And what I mean by that, answer the question. Not your question, but mine. Okay.